The DRDO has said that various configurations of exoskeleton like upper extremity, lower extremity and full body exoskeletons are being developed in various DRDO laboratories. Since the exoskeletons are application specific and person specific, the labs have carried out the systematic full body data collection of biomechanical parameters on Indian soldiers during their specific mission activities, and also carried out musculoskeletal modeling and simulation. And based on this simulation and muscle force activity, the DRDO has developed a laboratory prototype model of the powered exoskeleton, and it is currently undergoing functional validation at the laboratory. The Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification has certified the DRDO developed brake pads for various military aircraft, and these indigenous brake pads will soon replace the imported ones from MiG-29 Jaguar strike aircraft and AN-32 transport aircraft. The indigenous brake pads are much stronger, more heat resistant, and are developed to withstand severe and diverse operating conditions of aircraft braking, as they have to absorb enormous quantum of energy within a very short interval of 10 seconds after landing. The Ministry of Defence had signed a contract with SMPP Private Limited in 2018 to provide 1.8 lakh bulletproof jackets to the Indian Army, and yesterday the Minister of State for Defence handed over the 100,000th bulletproof jacket to the Army Chief, that was manufactured and delivered by SMPP Private Limited four months ahead of the delivery schedule. The private sector company is also making efforts to export its high-quality product to foreign countries, as the indigenous jacket can withstand the hard steel core ammunition from an AK-47. The top advisor of French President Emmanuel Macron and National Security Advisor Rajit Doval will hold the India-France annual strategic dialogue tomorrow, during which both sides will discuss building the six diesel electric submarines under Project P-75I for the Indian Navy, $2.5 billion contract for 56 Airbus C-295 medium transport aircraft under the Make in India initiative, acquisition of six Airbus A-330 refuelers. French proposal of 100 Rafale fighters with local production, as well as the local production of M88 engines. India is also readying to sign a major agreement with France, that will lead to real-time information exchange between the two navies at the tactical level. The Trump administration has notified the U.S. Congress, its determination to sell $1 billion worth of 13 Mark 45 naval guns along with ammunition and related equipment to India, that will be deployed on the under-construction P-15B destroyers and P-17A stealth frigates. In order to avoid any kind of delay amid the standoff with China, the U.S. Navy has agreed to provide three naval guns from its own inventory, so that the three Indian destroyers are equipped at the earliest, and it will be replaced with new systems once they are ready to be delivered. The Army's Western Command has conducted an integrated training exercise involving a large number of troops, and various combat elements like artillery and armored units. The exercise is aimed at validating evolving military concepts and combat maneuvers, involving tactical air support, helicopter operations and sub-conventional platforms, while operating in a networked and informationalized domain.